Hope for the Children. Since 2013, Miss Belgium has been supporting this beautiful project in Cambodia. This year, I had a chance to witness firsthand how the lives of these children change for the better and to see hope return to their young and fragile lives. I traveled to the small village of Rangvin in the northern part of the country, where running water is still a dream and the villagers have just received electricity. But a lot has changed in a short time. Three years ago, a small school was built, thanks to the donations by the Miss Belgium Committee. Now the students have a chance to learn English, an important skill that gives them prospects for better jobs. I had a chance to teach those cute children a few words in a fun and playful way. They were very enthusiastic and I found that the reward was in order for those who gave it their best every day. That's why I took them on a short trip, as a surprise. We went to the temple of Angkor Wat, which they enjoyed a lot. And we went to a restaurant and spent the night in a hotel. Something they had never experienced before. A fantastic adventure for them and for myself because none of them had ever traveled beyond the borders of their own village. It was an unforgettable field trip. There is no doctor in the village. Thierry, a Belgian physician and founder of Hope for the Children, travels to Rangvin a few times a year. As a medical student, I got to help him see a few patients, something I really looked forward to. Not an easy task due to the limited supplies at our disposal but we managed to do the best we could. I took people's blood pressure, listened to their hearts and lungs and gave them medication when needed. But not all patients are able to travel to the doctor, so we went to visit them at their houses, if we can even use the word house. We met this boy. He suffers from spina bifida, the medical term for split spine, which prevents him from walking and we gave him a wheelchair, which finally enabled him to play with the other children. Talking about sexuality is still a taboo in Cambodia. As a medical student and as a woman, I thought it was a good idea to discuss the subject with the elder girls of the village. At first there was some giggling, but I found out they have a lot of questions. I was so happy to help and I hope they can talk more openly about sexuality in the future. It gives me a lot of hope seeing their lives changing for the better. Even the smallest gesture can make a difference. However, the project isn't over yet. We're still building a better future for the people here. I placed the first brick of the guest house, a building entirely donated by the organization of Miss Belgium, and it has since been finished. It creates jobs for the villagers, which enables them to buy sufficient amounts of food and allows their children to have an education. These children are the future, and I believe that they deserve every opportunity to make it in the world. I thought it was beautiful to see Miss Belgium giving them chances, and even more beautiful to watch them seize every chance they get. Hope for the children has changed Cambodia a little, and Cambodia has changed me. These children have touched me, and will always have a special place in my heart. Hope for the children becomes hope for the future. Hope for the children equals hope for the future.